coming up on Eyewitness News, a better way to help millions of Americans who are living with disease. There are different types of high blood pressure, and they are treated in different ways. And now there's a better way for doctors to diagnose blood pressure problems. Seven's on call with Dr. Jay Adlersberg. Jay. Roz and Rob, not only are there different causes of high blood pressure, but the illness is sometimes difficult to treat. There are literally dozens of drugs for doctors to choose from, and experts sometimes must use trial and error to find the best ones. Now they get some help. The test itself is very short. Philip Messina is getting his blood pressure checked. It's not your standard cuff wrapped around the arm. No, this machine is called an impedance cardiograph, and it was made for patients like Phil. My blood pressure was, uh, was, was not controlled on medication. Uh, my blood pressure was running in the 140s or the diastolic running around the 90s or so. Phil is one of the 15% of patients whose pressure is hard to control or who have complications like heart disease and diabetes. The device records three factors of blood pressure, the pumping power of the heart, the resistance in the blood vessels, and the total fluid in the heart and lungs. As opposed to just having two numbers, a high number and a low number for the blood pressure, it says this blood pressure is made up of this component, that component, and a third component. Two out of the three components may be well controlled on this medication. The third may not be. It lets doctors custom tailor drugs to so, treat the out of control component. A study out just this year from the Mayo Clinic found that blood pressure was better controlled using the results of the impedance cardiograph machine than when doctors selected blood pressure drugs based on their medical instincts alone. I think based on this we're going to have to modify your medication once again. Using this piece of technology, we can zero in and treat a person more appropriately and follow them up more closely. It's not as hit and miss a trial and error as it was previously.